Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be doing like a vlog, like a training vlog because I don't know if y'all know, but I like bought a foal and we will be training her. She's eight months old. So today we'll be just training her and showing you all my different methods that I use with her. So I'm gonna be putting the halter on before we train. As you can see, she is um, a lot calmer from the beginning because I've been training her for a while now, for around like maybe a week, but she's already doing really good. So I'm just gonna put the halter on her. It's tight. And then put the clip. Pause, 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 pause. We have to see how this mini saddle looks on her. We just have to see it. We have to see it. We want to see it. We will see it. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, look at the little saddle. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's so cute. So um, yeah, this is the foal. It has a little white birthmark and it, like the hair is a very pretty color. My first method that I always use on her is using a plastic bag. Um, so I'll be showing you. So I kind of just rub it all over her body. Um, just pretend like I'm grooming her. I'm going to show you guys. Like that, and I just pretend. And then I use it on her face. method for desensitizing and I think it works and then I just do it all over her body like this so this next method requires a lead rope so I just put it on the halter and this is how I put it on so I come to the back and I kind of just slap it on the back rub it and I put it in the back of her butt it's pretty weird but it, it works it works fine I put it like in the back of her legs and then I just get it and make it go around. This teaches her to follow the lead rope. And I do it in both sides all the time because I feel like this is a really good method for both to understand um, how to follow the lead rope. And I just pull it and then she just comes right up to me just like that. And this will teach them to follow the lead rope. Next method, so I just grab a uh, like that, and then I literally touch their flames with my fist like this to get them to follow. This just helps them obey, like that. Very good job. Like that, and I just push their flames. And I also do it in the other side. Come now. Uh, you can hear the sound. Doesn't feel 
too happy. Rub it all over her ears. Make sure she's not scared of the bag. Because the bag is most horses' biggest fear, you know. Ooh. Ooh, you don't care about the bag? So now the last and final method that I really love using on her for desensitizing is the rope, which just goes on her neck because she doesn't really like things getting on her neck. So just grab the rope. Today, surprisingly, she's doing a very good job. She's not because you just put it and you can see she doesn't even lift her head up. She's just very good at this. Like, she's getting the hang of it so quickly. And then grab it, practice putting it on, and she's very good, to be honest with you guys. I'm really surprised of how much she has been improving these past days. She's just so good. And yeah, I think we will progress. she bites, by the way, I forgot to mention that. When she tries to bite me, I don't know if this is the proper way of doing it, but I just squeeze like that. Oh, I'm sorry, you didn't bite me. But I do that just because if we don't like it, they shouldn't like it either. So anyway, that is it for this YouTube video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.